Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder, and we're playing Gonzo Rivera again today for his Let's Play video. Um, so there's a few things that uh, we want to do today. Um, not, nothing too crazy, just a couple things in which that, like, you know, now you're well on your way of kind of deciding about where you want to go. You've gotten your school done, you've picked your trades to start, and in our case we've chosen uh, the sewing trade and the dye trading and fabric trading. So that's where we're off to for now. Uh, and so hopefully you guys have on your own with that. So you might be coming across a bit of a roadblock as you're playing the game. Uh, as you're leveling in your game, you might realize that you are a little short on some adventure levels, trade levels, and battle levels to get into the ships you want. So since we just hit the trade level 21 I was able to get into the graduation Palaka which is the trade ship that we had um, gotten from our test so you might want to start grinding up some of your adventure levels next to get to the Sambuk which is the adventure ship which is a good combination of ship that you could use that's going to be good and fast especially around this area as well as also have a decent cargo space so it doesn't hurt to get started on getting to those adventure levels. Now if you're trying to get to those adventure levels you don't know how to get there, here are my, my tips of advice to you. One, be an adventure job always when you're doing adventure things. Be an advanced, be an adventurer already. Secondly, travel. Go to places you've never been before. Discover new cities. Discover new places. Go to the the edges of the world in which that your map lets you do. So like in my case, I've only been to these regions. I have not discovered any of these other cities, like there's Famagusta over here and a bunch of these other cities. Discover them. Get them. Go to the North Sea. Discover the cities on uh, the Irish Island. Manchester, if you haven't already discovered Manchester. Um, Edinburgh is up here too as well. All of these Norwegian countries, uh, if you can. Go down to Africa. Start discovering the African countries. Cape Town. Get yourself out to Calcutta things of that nature. Now it's going to be a little bit of a drag in your sloop and a little bit dangerous. Um, and go to the Caribbean and all that stuff could be a little bit sketchy, but just travel and explore. You will get massive amounts of experience simply by doing discoveries of ports. If that takes too long and you're not sure the best route to do that and you don't really want to do there, go to those places until you have the Sambuk. If you already do, um, you know, then in then there's another situation that you could do, and this is what I'm going to show you today. Um, so first things first, I'm already kind of on my direction in the, in, in the way I want to go to now. So if you remember earlier when we were in Amsterdam and we joined my, uh, we went to Amsterdam to get the sewing skills and all that stuff, as well as also to um, join my guild that I'm in. Shout out to uh, the company that I'm in now a great help. The company that I'm in now, in case you're curious, is Rise Trading Company. They're a great company. They do help out. They're always out and available. Kerp has been great. He knows what he knows. He's always looking to help other people out with what he knows. And there's a lot of people in the guild themselves. I'll show you the company member list. Some high level people in here, um, other than me, in here that know, uh, that know what they're doing. So they're always good to help out. Anyways, so that's the last time we were here. We were up in the, this area for this reason. So today, now that we're going to head back to Amsterdam for the most part, because in Amsterdam is where we spoke to Mercator. Mercator is a very great way to learn some skills with surveying and recognition and things of that nature as well as also getting those adventure skills that you know you need and so that's where I'm gonna kinda like start is I'm gonna sail to Amsterdam which we got a little bit of a sail point from there and I really don't need to go to Amsterdam we already spoke to him so let's go to Helder um, and we're gonna get ourselves there so we can start doing what I was talking about as research for uh, charting. So the way this works, um, now there, there's a tab uh, here that you could look into. The tab is map investigations. 
I've already gone and selected the North Sea as the map. So in case you don't know, I'll hit M for map. And here in the right, you'll see green area North Sea. This is the North Sea here. This is the area that Mercator assigned for me to do charting in. Now, charting is a fancy way of saying exploring it, mapping it out, getting the details of where things are, doing some recognition, spending some time in the sea. That's what you're there for. So you could change the different ones to do, but he specifically told us to do the North Sea first. That's like your first and foremost thing you need to do. You need to do the North Sea. You're going to hit research, and then it'll bring up the screen. It'll tell you the first investigation entry you need to do in order to unlock the rest of them, and what its acquisition rate will be, and what it'll do for you. Um, when you complete it, you will get, I believe, 30% acquisition, and you need to get to 100%. And the way you discover or, you know, achieve this little uh, milestone here is you go to the coordinates of 94, 23, 57, and you use your recognition skill. And when you do, you'll get the congratulations you didn't discover. It's not a discovery. You'll have completed the investigation, and you'll get a progress towards 100% completion. You're going to do that until you hit... A uh, hundred percent and then when you complete it you go speak to a scholar uh, In this case, you will probably speak to Mercator because he was the first one to give it to you You'll go speak to a scholar and hand in the research and you'll get a Congratulations and a bunch of experience Mercator will do that for you in this case and you're gonna do that for pretty much all of the sea regions in the area at least the ones that you know you can get to because not everybody wants to you know do these and then there are a couple of things where you're there are these little baltic seas area stuff i don't know much about them but just start with the water lanes because the water areas the ocean areas are going to get you a lot of experience they are a little time consuming and i'll do one with you today so you see the kind of effort it takes to complete one um and you know how it could get faster and how the experience could increase with each one you do the experience increases significantly so that is where we're going to start. We're just about at Helder. Which, we really don't need to go into Helder. We could just stop it right here. Oh, we already made it in before I could hit cancel. Alright, so before that though, let's just stock up on goods. This is going to be a little bit of time. Get like 20 days, maybe a little more than 20 days worth of inventory so you can set sail. And you're going to do regular set sailing. You're not going to do auto navigation or anything like that. Go ahead and put on your frugality skill if you have it, your caution, and your surveying. Because you don't want to get attacked if you can help it and you want to be able to survey because you need to see in the bottom right hand corner here your coordinates. So these coordinates are what measure your ability to, you know, get to the locations on the map. As we head north, we are seeing this number decrease. The further north you go, the lower the right number gets. This is your Y coordinate. Your X coordinate is the left one. So X and Y. 66 is your X coordinate. Now my first, my first, uh, where do I find it again? Map investigations. My first thing is 94, 2357. So I do need to go north. I need to get to 2357, but I need to get to 95. And 95 is to the east, if I'm correct. Yep to the east. The numbers get larger as you go east. And it looks like a regular XY coordinate uh, system. The further east you go on this XY coordinate system, the higher up the X's are. So we're going to get to 95, and then as soon as we get to 95, we're close to it. We don't need to be exact. We're going to head northwards until we reach. I'm already hitting up north, and now we are at 95 roughly. Okay, we are at 95, 96, doesn't really matter. Doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, you can keep making minor adjustments until we hit the uh, correct Y level, which is 2357. So we only have about 50 left to go, but you'll need to use your recognition skill. In order to use recognition skill, you might have to drop one of your other skills briefly. So just click it and uh, say yes, that you want to cancel the skill, and then use your recognition skill. Recognition is not one of my quick keys. So, uh, 
so we're just going to get to 57. Or close to it. Again, it doesn't need to be exact. And once we're there, we hit the recognition and then we'll give it a few seconds and you should discover the, the area. I'm going to go again. Go ahead and get ready for it by closing out caution. Getting close. And then I'm going to use my recognition skill. Boom. Instantly. Now, when I turn around, I don't know exactly where they're going to want me to go. Actually, before we do that, we'll just go ahead and go back to map investigations. And you'll see we have unlocked a whole bunch more. Things that are red are required. Things that are blue are complete. Things that are white are things that you could do. Fishing collecting for up to five times. I only need to collect one more thing and then I'll have completed it. Buy and sell in the marketplace one more time. I'll have completed it. And defeat three ships. So these are things I could do, but I do need to get to 194, 2372. So we're going to go to 194 next. So we need to head further east and south a little bit. So we're going to try to kill two birds with one stone because we need to get 194s. We need to get 100 east. And down to two three. See, this is why I say write this down. Two three seven two, which isn't very far. And then once you're there, we're gonna use our recognition skill. Two three seven two. I'm very bad at remembering the numbers. This is why I say write it, because writing it will be so much easier. You're trying to remember all these numbers. 2372, 2372. Probably close to uh, Bremen. Bremen. And 195 or something like that was where they said before. So we're almost there. It's a bit time consuming, but it doesn't take too long. caution and I'm gonna go ahead and use my recognition and we're done we're not exactly there like we didn't exactly have to reach it all right so now we're gonna go back to our map investigations nothing else is red we could do this one 144 2212 which I believe is pretty much right on top of Amsterdam so we'll go do that one notice I like to keep to uh, you know doing these because it's really not that hard you know just having to remember one four four two two one two so now i'm headed towards one four four this is probably the hardest part is do navigating all this oh you know what one four four two one two it's pretty far north so you know what forget it we're just going to do the, the other ones oops map investigations we only need to do one more which is buy or sell or collect a fish. So you know what? We're going to collect a fish. If you have a fishing skill, should be easy enough. Ah, a rat infestation. All I got to do is catch one fish. And I should complete the quest for a Mercator. Because this one says it was going to give me 20% acquisition and I only need 20% more to get to 100 Catch a fish. And it says the map of North sea, sea has been completed. You can check underneath the charts menu. So we're going to go to map investigations and you'll see you've completed it. Once you check on it, it's pretty much gives you some of that adventure experience. So actually, you know what? I lied. You don't need to speak to a scholar. I lied. Just go back to the map investigations section and then you'll get your experience and fame for it. Now, I might have been speaking out my butt here. See, I'm a trade dealer. So I didn't get nearly as much adventure experience as I probably could. I'd probably get like 80, maybe, if I had done it in an adventure job. But I just wanted to show you how to do it. And I'll, I'll do it for them from this point forward. Like, if you're going to do charting, commit to it. Stay in the adventure role. Do as much as you can of it. So there we go. I finished it. And then we're going to go run back to Mercator, who is all the way over here. 
because that's what the creator asked us to do. Yeah. Ah, too. You finished the recognition. Yes. Region investigation. Yes. So he's going to thank you for doing it and pretty much give you a nice little reward to start. At least he should. I don't know. I thought we needed to speak to him. Oh, I see. Okay, that was it. Speak to him, and then what you do now when you talk to him again, you will get these rewards for completing each of these major regions. There's a lot of them. So the North Sea one is pretty much all of what we just did here. Even though I think it's a bit of a misnomer because we did the North Sea already. Uh, I don't understand. We completed it. But I think he means like this entire northern region here. Um, northern Europe region. I really think that's what he means because we completed it. I can't click this. So, But there you go. That's charting in a nutshell. You're going to do as much as you can in each of these regions. You're going to come back. You're going to get these rewards. Some of them are good. Some of them are blech. Like LCCTs are good. Guardians gloves, Indian calico shawls, jade earrings are not bad. Like, you get good stuff. Not all of it's amazing. Like, you may not use this if you're not a ship person. You know, a lot of um, Northeastern passage development rewards. Like, some of these are great. Otherwise, not so much, but you get the idea. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much doing that all together. I, I don't know if... You don't, you don't have to come back to Mercator all that often. Like I said, complete a lot of the, the recognitions and then come back. All right, so that's one part of the video. The other part of the video is that I want to show you uh, the next thing. While you're up in this region and you're doing uh, the charting, you might want to visit London to go to a place called Oxford. So Oxford is a place where you can learn skills in college. Um, notice I don't have the college tab available here in the skills section, but in college you will do different uh, categories of quests, I guess you can call them, basic quests, that'll give you boosts once you complete them. And they're like minor boosts, like 3% increase in the speed, uh, more increased success rate when doing productions, all sorts of different things. But you can pick and choose which ones you want to focus. And you're going to do them until you, you know, for based on the skills that you currently have. You'll do ones based on sail handling. You'll do ones based off of other, all sorts of other things, depending on what skills you have. Um, and when we get there, I'm going to show you how to get to London, uh, go get to Oxford from London, and who to speak to, how to uh, select your first, uh, I guess, your research, I guess you want to call it, your first. Uh, thesis as they call it in this and what you need to do in order to complete your thesis it's very much like charting you get a task you select the task and then you do things that require the task to be to, to give you your to write your thesis on it so in charting you're doing a bunch of different things discovering locations fishing battling trading you name it after you reach 100 percent then you've completed it then you check the tab again and then the tab gives you your bonus However, with Oxford, this is the one I was thinking of where you actually, after each thesis, so you'll get a thesis like sail handling, and it'll say for to write a pen, a 10 pages of your thesis, you need to do at least 10 days on the sea of sailing or something like that, or maybe one day of sailing on the sea. Okay, you, you sail for 10 days, you reach 100 pages of your thesis, your book requires, your thesis requires 100 pages, and then you've completed the thesis. Then all you need to do is hand in your thesis. And that's where you go to archives and you hand them into the scholars. Or you can hand them back into Oxford, depending on where you are. 
but you're going to hand them into scholars. You're going to do as many of them as you can. You could do the same ones over and over again. You could do the ones you want to focus, like I do the school recognition ones, so that way you can get 20% extra uh, school contribution points for doing well, uh, all of them. So to get that one first, then focus sale handling, handling or trade goods or production, whatever it is that you feel like focusing. I would say get sale handling, get the school, rec uh, school bonuses, and get production. Those are like the three most important ones um, for now, especially early on. So we'll show you when we get there. You may not have those options available to you when you first arrive. You'll take the first ones that you do get available to you when you do get to Oxford. All right, so we're going to go to Oxford the same way that we get to Calais. We go to the carriage. That's the first thing. Go to the carriage in London. And when you get to him, you select that you want to go to Oxford. Charioteer, ride carriage, and we've discovered Oxford. Okay, I've already discovered it once before, probably just by showing you guys another video. Who knows? All right, and then we go here. We walk into the building. We speak to the professor, and we can start research. And then it'll tell you a little story about how to do research, and there'll be like some people to talk to here. Probably this little girl. I think it's a girl. Mysterious voice. Yeah, it says lady. I don't know what her name is. Mysterious lady, whatever. So, I just ignore all this. None of this story matters. That's my line, whatever. Get past all of this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boring story. I just realized I don't have any music playing because I turned it off because I was getting tired of it. Oh my gosh. Talking in this game is excessive. Alright, I think we finished it. Just so we don't have this dullness of sound. Back to the music. Okay. Speak to the professor again. Go to research. Now you've attained a few of these theses you could potentially work on. Okay, so you're going to have to hit research again. And then you've unlocked in the first building, you get to choose all of these available majors. First one being sale handling, trade teching, and scholarship orientation. I would say focus doing scholarship. So in this page, there's nothing clickable. You go next. And then from here, you choose the one you want to focus. This one says in order to get the scholarship orientation, you just got to complete these actions in order to get research. You could also do trade, where you only do profitable trade, and you could also do sand handling, where it's only normal voyaging. Whatever the case may be, you do what's necessary to reach the 500 pages. You could do 500 pages worth of just normal voyaging, profitable trade, and bombardment, whichever you choose to do. I'm going to go ahead and do scholarship, because this will give you a bonus. When you click it, it says details. Make a voyage on the high seas for a short distance for normal voyaging for profitable trade. Achieve over $100,000 in profit from a single trade, which means you might want to just go cheat it uh, by buying stuff. Bombardment, a memory fleet sinks an enemy ship with cannons. And then it, it's easier to raise your evaluation upon submitting a treatise to college. So every time you go to college and you go to submit a thesis, you'll get more and more credits. Here you get 100. So if you have this equipped underneath your skills menu, you'll get a boost of say like 20% of credit acquisition so you get 120. That's the difference. So we're going to go ahead and get that now because we want to get as much of that as we can early on. Say complete and now we've accepted the new research. And you're just going to go do that basic stuff that we just talked about. You're going to sail, you're going to trade, and you're going to battle. That's about it. You do it however you want to do it. Um, early on, like I said, this is probably the first thing you should do because then all things you do after this you'll get extra bonuses with. So, you don't need to come back to um, Oxford until you uh, do, I think, 12 of these. I think it's 12. Could be wrong. 12 thesis submissions, because then you'll unlock more of the uh, thesis uh, things. Anyway, so we're going to buy some things that we know that we can buy. 
We're gonna buy European armor. We're gonna buy beer. We're gonna buy whiskey. These things tend to sell pretty well down in the south there area. I can't do wool yet and all that stuff because I haven't worked on many of my trades. Okay, and then that's pretty much it. And since I went and picked up items, I now cannot, uh, I'm not an idiot for this, I now can't use Calais because I have things in my inventory. So we're just going to sail. We're going to sail right to just Lisbon or Seville, it doesn't really matter. Well, you know, Seville's my hometown, so we go to Seville. And go ahead and use my skills. And then now, if we go to skills, college tab doesn't have anything available still, because we actually have to complete one of these. But now we can go to research info and see the required pages necessary, what it is that we need to do in order to get these uh, particular uh research actions to give us pages and that's it and you're going to keep doing that until you reach your levels of completion and once you reach a hundred percent or a hundred percent but uh whatever your um 500 here in this case is your required number of pages of your thesis so you choose how you want to do that 10 profitable trades 10 sunken ships or 50 normal voyages which this goes by pretty quickly, this, you know, normal stuff that you do, so that might be enough. And then, that's it. And then you just keep on repeating it. You can keep selecting the same things over and over again. And each time it counts for another submission. So you complete this one once, it'll be one submission. Complete it again, it'll be two submissions. That's all. And do it, and keep doing it, keep doing it. And choose ones in which that uh, excite you. Like, I chose to do pretty much all of the ones that were available to me with my main... I didn't have to do them all. I'm not a battle guy. I did all the battle ones, but you can do them. You don't have to. It's up to you. But you will get bonuses for doing them and being able to switch between the skills. So like when you're in the skill section and you do choose college, you will be able to choose which skills you want to have applied in the moment. Uh, that's, you know, that's up to you. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to actually... Uh, get any normal voyage until we port somewhere so you know what we're going to do we're going to port in Calais just to see if that was enough to, to trigger it just so I can show you how the progress works if not you know you'll get the idea and then you keep doing that submitting your work to the scholar and restarting new research at each scholar Again, any scholar works you don't have to go to Oxford thank god for that Maybe two days of sailing counted. Yes, achieve research activity normal voyaging three times. So I did actually get some research. And there you go, three times times 10 is 30. So there you go. And you keep doing this till you reach 500. You will earn a lot. It won't be a slow process through a lot of this. Some of them obviously require more tedious work, but this one's the easiest one. So hopefully that's helpful to you. You learned a little bit how to chart. You learned a little bit about Oxford. Um, I don't know everything about Oxford. There's a second building you will unlock after a period of time. I'm still currently working on that with my main. So once I know more, I will uh, explain it uh, as I get there with this guy. But in the meantime, just, you know, start it. It's a good place to start. It gets you adventure experience. It gets you um, from charting uh, from Oxford. It gets you a lot of everything kind of experience, depending on what jobs you take on. Just focus it, you know, just spend some time. Spend some time doing these little grindy things just so you can get yourself familiar with the different processes of the game and what they benefit you for and what they do. Hopefully this was informative. Everybody uh, that's out there supporting me, thank you so much. Continue to do so by liking and subscribing. Share with any other newbies in the game. I really want people to love this game the same way I love it. Uh, I think about it night and day, so much so that... I get in trouble for thinking about it as much as I do, so let's try to spread the news about how great this game can be, uh, and even though it's an old dated game, it's one of those games in which that I think that you don't get this kind of dedication uh, from anybody. So, you know, this is one of those games that like hopefully I can influence people to 
really commit to. Uh, and just do me the solid and like and subscribe and continue to share the knowledge of the game. Thanks, everyone. Take it easy.